that's just games. Now we have one more game. Yeah, I completely zoned out. Um, go here, and we'll try not to get mooned. The thing is that Blood Moon's, like, not even super great if we have Death Rite Shaman. We have, like, Death Rite Shaman in one good, uh... We have Death Rite Shaman in one... We can't just give you decks. My decks are from Card Hoarder. I can't just hand those out. Yeah, we'll keep this. Play Shaman on one. <laughs> you never know what can happen. Yeah, dude, Nathan, Megan already is doing a draft tomorrow morning. We already hit the $20, and now we're just doing for every $20, she's going to do another draft. She is. She will be holiday cubing tomorrow morning. She is excited. What time? I'm not sure. Probably, probably around like 10. I would assume she's not like, I don't think she could handle Vintage Cube in the morning. If you, my wife can't do a 24-hour stream, but I can do a 24-hour stream where she comes in and does a, uh, where she comes in and drafts every one of our, every one of our, a 24-hour marriage stream. God, we might turn, we might go Dark Confidant into turn three Bloodbraid Elf. And then he's just going to anger the gods us. And I'll cry. But I will do... She will do as many drafts, and I will play the decks all the, all three matches tomorrow. We can even... We can even have her insight a little bit. This guy is probably ghosting. <laughs> you can see his stream, Nathan. Um, he is up on... Uh, Johnny's Johnny's stream, which I cannot remember off the top of my head. Ooh. So, yeah, he's. You can see the other one. So I think we're just like not gonna get mooned, and I'm just gonna fetch basic. Yeah, this is going to get remanded. And then I'll get in there for one shot. Yeah. And then we're just going to attack for one with Shaman. Yo, MVP of Johnny's deck has been Chrome Mox. For sure. This card has been super gross. I should have played a Slaughter Pact just for like... Because we knew, I knew Johnny was going to play twin. At least our opponent plays X Sax Man for twenty-four. Hours. I can't beat it. That right there, that is the quality stream. We gonna get Moon? No, we're not because he played. He already played a Ponder. Yeah, we're definitely we're just jamming this Bloodbred Elf. We're gonna eat lands from his graveyard. I probably well. So there's an argument for me to just eat lands from his graveyard, anyways. I kind of want to cast like Tarmogoyf and Dark Confidant because I don't. I, I want to save the Bloodbred Elf until he has Counter Magic up. So yeah, we're going to do that. Exile target card from your graveyard. Make... Make green. I guess we'll go... Leave our green floating. Play Bob. I just want to wait until he's got counter magic. And if this gets snared, I'll just play another Bob.
Or like play this when I can hit a Jace. Snare. Okay. I'm gonna play Goyf so that he doesn't wreck me with like a anger of the gods. We're gonna get plenty of card advantage. This line plays pretty well against kind of like everything but the moon. I was just gonna be like cryptic command. All right, we're gonna hit that pre-combat Bloodbraid Elf. Get a forest. I would like to cascade into a discard spell. I guess we'll pulse this. Then I'll leave. I'll leave the shaman back. To pump fake something here. Okay, so he untaps his land. And then we'll attack with both of these because he might not block because he might be afraid of like a uh, lightning bolt. So I guess he needs untapped red. He needs untapped land twin in his hand to get me. Digging. Okay. Then he'll figure out if he's going to block or not. Oh, this means now he can block the uh, block the goyf, which is pretty sweet. Well, now I can't block the wife. Johnny actually knows my hand. He might just kill me. Which will be sad. His deck's great. It might be. Hopefully this is a twin, not a, a Jace, not a twin. Okay. All right. He got me. All right. Let's switch over. Any few more greater than signs. 